Hi, this is Depressed Snowman, and welcome to my music show. Summer's pretty hard for the sulking souls. Everything is stickier than usual, and all of the mechanisms you've put in place to hide yourself are suddenly out of the question. I went to the beach the other day, and it was fine, I guess. But as I was sweating profusely through my snow pores, I kept being reminded that this just really isn't my season. So I wait. I kill time. I lay in bed until I can crawl out of my lair without being patronized by the sun. Anytime I do step outside, I hold on to some nice tunes, and this is a core moment for music that really has the power to create an entirely different point of view. You all know my natural point of view by now. Bleak, with a tendency to imagine the worst case scenarios. The first track I want to share with you is about as far from reality as you can get. Well, that's if your reality doesn't entirely comprise of a computer screen and alternate worlds to get sucked into. If it's your case, then this will likely sound familiar. The next track is way more akin to seeing a live show, with live analogic instruments and all that shit. You gotta bring in some humanity sometimes. Think Lou Reed with some glam undertones. But I wouldn't say it's a total copy-paste of a bygone genre. It sounds a bit haunted, sure, but also quite relevant to a current form of stasis. Okay, we're back to the crunchy, chaotic bleeps and blops with a new release by Second Seasons. I've already shared one of his tracks in a previous episode, and honestly, I love this guy. I believe this is some heavily improvised stuff, and you can really feel the music taking unexpected directions. It's a real brain pleaser if you're into experimental shit. This week, I've really been into a great Japanese band called Downy. I know I'm quite a bit late to the game, as these guys have been around for decades, but if you don't know about them, this is your chance to discover some really cool post-rock from the greatest country in the world. This is part nervous, part cuddly, a bit like myself.
celebration of Dinosaur Jr. reissuing one of my favorite albums of all times, Farm, I've been getting back into Lou Barlow's first solo cassette tape. It's really a goldmine for home-recorded raw guitar ballads. Listening to these tracks always makes me wonder why I never pick up my guitar. Could I rival Lou Barlow? Next artist is called Sleep Movies, from Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. Finding his album was a great example of Bandcamp digging luck, as I got sucked into all his tracks with the sheer excitement of a kid on Christmas Day. A kid growing up in a very rich and stable family. We're flying to Japan again with a fairly new band from Osaka called Hypergal. Harshness of sound, softness of vocals, you already know I'm into it. This makes me want to learn Japanese and go to Osaka right now. It's a shame these thoughts only last for the duration of the song. This is from an upcoming album and I have a feeling it's going to be the best thing coming out next fall. comes a time when you have to wrap things up, and the time has come as it is, unfortunately, the end of the show. I hope you enjoyed seeing me do absolutely nothing. Boredom's never been such a close friend of mine, and I'm taking care of it, making it feel appreciated. Anyway, until next time, be strong, take your meds, and keep your headphones on. <laughs>